Discover how On One Effects works seamlessly with Lightroom and Photoshop. With an array of different filters and styles and hundreds of presets to choose from, it fits into any Photoshop or Lightroom workflow with ease. Edit a single image or even batch process like a pro with On One Effects. Using Lightroom and On One Effects, we can quickly develop the basic settings of the image inside of Lightroom, and then we can send that image or group of images over to On One Effects where we can incorporate style, detail, or anything else we need to bring those images to life. So let's check out an image here inside of Lightroom. I'm just going to grab this photograph here. I'm going to head into my develop settings and I'm just going to use this auto option. With our image developed, let's send it over to On One Effects where we can incorporate some detail and a bit of style. I'm going to use my file menu. I'll head to plugin extras and I'll just select On One Effects 2023. For my export options, I'm going to leave edit a copy with Lightroom settings applied. That way I keep those settings that I modified inside of the develop section of Lightroom. And for my copy options, I'm going to leave it at this smart photo PSD option there. That way I can immediately go back and readjust or remodify any of those settings that I apply inside of on one effects. So let's go down and choose OK. And that will open up our modified image inside of on one effects. For this photograph, let's add in a little bit of moody style into it, and an easy way to do that is by using Super Select AI. I'm just going to hit K on my keyboard to grab Super Select AI. That way, I can hover over different regions of my scene, and I can immediately apply different styles to them. For my boat here, I'm going to select this, and let's add in a bit of detail. I'll use Dynamic Contrast, and we'll use the preset Surreal. For the water and also the sandy regions down on the foreground, let's right click and let's add in a darker glow. And then for my sky, let's select that. We'll add a local adjustment. Let's bring on some contrast there. And we'll also lower down the exposure, maybe about 0.2 of a stop to give it a little bit of mood. After that, let's add on one last filter here. We'll just use one of my favorites, the Vignette Filter. And one of my favorite presets inside of Vignette is this big softy option. If it's a little bit too intense, we can always just pull back on the opacity there to ensure it looks more natural. So let's check out our before and our after. I'm loving it. It's looking good. Let's just go back into Lightroom by choosing Done. And back inside of Lightroom here, we have the modified image with those basic develop settings adjusted. And then we have our image stylized using on one effects. And like I was saying earlier about that smart photo PSD option, we can always go back in and readjust or remodify those settings inside of on one effects. So if we just go back into file, plug in extras, and we go to on one effects again, we immediately can see all of those different settings that we were just working on and we can fine tune them if we need to, or we can reset anything that we don't like. Using Lightroom and on one effects, we can also batch process groups of images to apply quick styles to them. Let's grab this photograph here and the rest of these images in the group and let's go to File, Plugin Extras, On One Effects 2023. For my export options here, I'm going to make sure that on Batch Options, I have Pause on First Photograph. That way I can apply a style to that first image and then it will apply that style to the rest of the photos in the group. In On One Effects here, let's just open up our preset drawer. I'll go into one of my favorite preset categories, Black and White Modern. Let's just grab one of these Black and White preset styles here. Maybe this one. We'll apply that to the image. Then we can just head down, we can choose Done. And back in Lightroom, if we take a look at those four images there, they have that black and white style applied to them.
It's really that simple to stylize a single photograph or even groups of images using Lightroom and On One Effects. Let's check out using Photoshop and On One Effects together. Using Photoshop, I'm going to open up an image. Again, I'm just going to use that auto option there to develop the basic settings for the scene. I'm just going to rotate the crop just a hair there to straighten things up a little bit. And with my image ready to go, let's go into File, Automate, and we're going to go to On One Effects. Inside of On One Effects, let's apply a quick style to the scene using a preset. And I think I'm going for a moody, almost cinematic vibe with this shot. Maybe a little bit of a faded matte look, something that just makes the scene pop a bit more. So let's go over and we'll scroll down to this minimalist section. And I'm just going to use this first preset there. Gives it a nice bit of a matte look, but let's go in here, we'll add a filter. And we'll go in and we'll add the LUTs filter. In my LUTs, I'm just going to change the category to color grading. And I'll use this LUT there. It's a little bit too intense there, but we can always lower the opacity down a bit. I'll just bring it up to around 50 or 60 or so. Let's check out our before and our after. And I'm really digging the mood there. I'm really digging the faded matte look on the scene and that cinematic vibe that it's giving off. Let's maybe add one last filter. We'll add a vignette just to bring the viewer's attention into that middle section where the model's at. I'm digging it. Let's go back into Photoshop by choosing Done. And back in Photoshop, we have our original, and then we have our On One Effects modified layer there. Now, just like in Lightroom, you can batch process groups of images instead of Photoshop using On One Effects. To do that, we first need to create an action. So let's actually just delete this On One Effects layer there, and let's go into our actions here. I'm going to create a new one, and I'll name this action Moody Cinematic Effects. We're just going to record this action here. We're going to take our image into on one effects. It's remember those styles that we applied to the scene. So let's just go down and choose done. And now back in Photoshop, we'll stop that action there. And now all we have to do to batch process a group of images is go to file, automate, batch. Within this batch dialog here, we're going to go to our actions and we're going to make sure that moody cinematic effects option is enabled there. From there, we just choose our source folder. I'm going to choose this group of images there. From there, we can rename or choose a different destination and we can batch process that group of images by just selecting okay.